Africa, welcome. It's Fiona O'Loughlin. Are oh, you too nice? Look, I don't, oh, thank you. Um, look, uh, you know, I don't want to be boring, but I've not been very well. Um, I've been at sixes and sevens, and I had a doctor come, like a house call, and he came to the house and he diagnosed me definitely uh, as not having chronic fatigue. <laughs> which shat me to tears, because then I had to get up. Um, <laughs> but apparently, I'm, I'm going through the change. Yeah, it's, I know, it's desperate. It's, um, well, it, apparently this whole shop's shutting down. Um, <laughs> guess who's not having a closing down sale? You know, but... <laughs> I've turned into such a cranky bitch, you know? I, I, do the children all annoy me, even my favourite? Um, <laughs> so anyway, then I went to the doctor again, trying to get to the bottom of, you know, my problems. And, uh, well, because my hypochondria was playing up. And, uh, <laughs> oh, apparently my thyroid shat itself as well. You know, all good fun. But um, he was taking bloods, but then he, he noticed in my notes that I hadn't had a pap smear for a while. Now. I don't want to tell you about my last pap smear any more than you want to hear about it, but <laughs> think of it as a cautionary tale, right? Now, apparently when you're going through, uh, well, apparently one of, some of the symptoms of menopause are, you, you know, you get cranky, well, I know that, and you get very tired and you get forgetful. You start losing things, right? And uh, that's just really frightening because I've been losing things my whole life, right? I, I, you know, I, I left a passport in, in Heathrow. I, I left my dad at the zoo. I, I, I left a baby at Liquorland once, right? Um, <laughs> I would have gone back for him, but it's a small town and people talk. Anyway, so... <laughs> So, I'm having the pap smear, and it, it, you know, a pap smear is supposed to take about three minutes, right? Well, this went on, and on, and on. It was very, very awkward for the pair of us, and he was a nice young doctor, and he eventually left the room. I think he was very embarrassed. And I wanted to yell out after him, yeah, well, this isn't a hot flush, dickhead. Anyway. <laughs> 20 minutes later, he leaves the room, and he sends the nurse in to tell me the news. And, uh, she came in, she was as embarrassed as we were. She came in, she said, I'm very sorry that he, he can't find your cervix. <laughs> and I was like, of all the car keys <laughs> and the wallets and the handbags I've lost, Now I've lost my cervix. You know? <laughs> and I'm bloody sure it was right where I left it. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>